Hey, Jack Colorado here. We're going to go to the range and we're going to check out our uh, Camber 22 conversion. That's right, old Camber 22 conversion. Where did I put that thing? Is that a problem when you can't find anything? Well, hold it. Can I go to the range today? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Range is open today. Let's see. Beautiful day outside. Whoa. Oh my, I don't think I'm going to the ranch today. Well, no, not today. Maybe we'll just uh, take it apart and put it back together, show you how that works, and go to the range next time. There it is, Kimber Rimfire Conversion Kit. Very simple kit, but it's not going to go to the range today. Uh, I talked to Low Buck Prepper on Blog TV the other night, and we were talking about 22 conversions, and he says, man, do a video on it. I said, you know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, not today. Not today. Got about six inches last night, half a foot of snow. Just spent about an hour and a half on the sidewalk, the driveway, getting a lot of it. You know, just pulled off so it's nice and neat and I can get in and out, but that drive out to the range, which is outside of town, uh, is on a little two lane and it's probably, I don't know, eight or ten miles outside of town and they're probably closed today out there because I guarantee you out east of the front range of Colorado they got a lot of snow and I'm not going there so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at this guy I'm gonna take it apart or take my 1911 apart put this on it show you how it works and then we'll do a follow-up at the range later all right here we have it we've got our Kimber rimfire conversion target kit and we've got our 1911 N45 the kit consists of obviously a 10 round magazine. Uh, it's a 10 round magazine, that's all you're going to get in them. They don't make them that I know of that are any bigger. This is a rimmed cartridge of course, so you can only stack them so high in there. So there's a 10 round magazine there. Here is the conversion itself. It consists of a slide, a barrel, guide rod, spring, all is an assembly. You, don't have, you can take it apart conventionally just like you would a 1911. There's no need to except for just cleaning and maintenance, that's all. It comes with uh, rimfire target sights just like the Kimber rimfire target itself has. Um, used a little bit in bullseye. It's as accurate as I am, so you know that's, I can't ask for it to be any better than that um, because <laughs> it's not going to make me a better shot. So this is how easy this guy is to put together. Take apart. Now one of the things that I do One of the things that I do here is I don't take my guide rod assembly and I don't do a conventional strip down. I simply just go back to my takedown notch in one fell swoop and I pull it apart just like that and it's apart. And I can reassemble it like that. It's just as easy to reassemble. When I go to put this guy back together, all I have to do is put it back together just the same way it came apart. Put that guy in there, and there we have it. We have an assembled 1911 in 22 Remfire. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's simple, simple. It's incredibly reliable. It's very accurate. Here's one of the downsides to it. Uh, this particular gun, I've added a Chip McCormick extended magazine well. With the standard magazine that this gun comes with, you see it's got a fairly wide base plate on it. it will not completely seat it won't latch and it won't feed you can see there you might can see there's a little bit of a gap there and that's because this mag this is just a little too wide for that magazine well so i think the simple solution to that is going to be take a file or a dremel and just be very careful because i do not want to get this guy so far down this is a separate base plate it's a disassembly or a magazine that you can disassemble i don't want to get this guy so far down that the, the base plate falls apart or that it's it's delicate so I think what, I, what I've done in the past is just remove the magazine well it's that simple but I think I'm just gonna try to just plane a little bit off the edges there to see if I can't because it's just just almost there so I'll let you know how that goes if I decide to do it also with these conversion kits I've yet to see a conversion kit out there that will lock open on the last round and that's just simply because you know this is not as wide as the 45 magazine at its mouth it doesn't have a follower that will come up and if it did 
probably doesn't have enough spring strength and if the spring was strong enough to do it it would probably feed the uh, 22 rounds just a little bit too hard and probably cause uh, you know feeding problems in the gun so as you saw at the beginning of the video there's a half a foot of snow outside the range is eight miles out of town it's going to be uh, snowy muddy slippery out there they're probably not even open but I'm not going to find out next time we get back to this subject we'll head to the range I'll show you what an accurate gun this is until then this is Jack Colorado and thanks for watching